Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I said in a previous video that I was going to do one of my other projects. I was going to review one of the other kits that I have. But this came in today when I got home from work. And I have been waiting on this for probably a month or so. I honestly don't know why it took so long for it to get here. But Amazon has probably the... One of the worst shipping times because sometimes they'll have stuff that's oh, that's in a, J a Japanese warehouse. And it will take, you know, two to three months sometimes to get something from Amazon, which is why I don't recommend it unless it's something you can't find anywhere else. And this is definitely one of those things that I couldn't find anywhere else. And it was like the only one on the site. And it was, it was pricey. <laughs> Let's just say that. I've been waiting for this for a while, so let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so now the box is open, and we're about to dig into it. Now, one of the things I do see in here I find kind of odd is this. The Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam New Translation Blu-ray. Um, I find it kind of odd because I didn't order this with this particular package. I ordered it separately. But I guess I decided to go ahead and throw it together because it came the same day. So I guess they thought since they had it at the same place, they might as well go ahead and uh, go ahead and put it together in the same package. So I mean, it's pretty cool. I do have the TV show version of this. I went ahead and get the movie version just so I can have both. Um, but while the movie version, I will say, you know, you know once I get to around to reviewing it. I will say it's a, it's okay. It's an okay version to watch if you're just trying to get the story quickly. But if you want the entire experience, really the only way to go is the show. I know it won't have as you know as good as animation because there's some better there's some scenes that were redone in here. But that's one of my major complaints with this particular version is how they redid a lot of scenes, especially the ending. I am not a fan of the ending of this particular version. So that's my personal opinion on that. But I went ahead and got it. But this is what I'm really excited about. This right here. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay. So it's my Master Grade Jesta Cannon. Now you're probably wondering if you're unfamiliar with Gundam Model Kit. You're probably wondering, okay, wait a minute. All the other boxes I've seen are, you know, normal. They're just the, the normal picture of the suit with whatever in the background. But this one's solid blue, and it's like different shades of blue all over the box. That's an indicator that it's a premium Bandai, which premium Bandai obviously sounds like what it sounds like. It costs a lot more than it normally would or how it normally should cost. Really, the normal master grade of this, the, the Jesta, really isn't a whole lot. It's fairly cheap, but the Jesta Cannon, which is the one that most people want, <laughs> is unfortunately expensive, and they know that they can get away with it because people will buy it because they want the Jesta Cannon, because it's just that cool. Uh, unfortunately, that means that these are pricey and pretty hard to find. So obviously, I had to get it when I saw it. And I was super excited. Like I said, it was pretty pricey. I ain't going to lie. It was over $120, I believe. And it was the only one on Amazon at the time that I could find. And it took like a month or almost two months to get to me. But uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome to tear into this and start building it. But I have a, quite a bit of backlog already that's starting to build up again. And other projects that I have uh in the works so it's probably gonna be a little bit before I get to him um I mean I still haven't even completed the moon Gundam yet and I've been waiting for a long time for this guy too so I mean I have gotten done with the blue destiny who's gonna be a, a project in the future but that just shows you how slow my progress has been so Anyways, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time in the future for some, you know, hopefully <laughs> reviews and not unboxings, but we'll have to see what happens.